John Congem here with middle linebacker Raekwon McMillan. And Raekwon, take me through a play call from beginning to end on defense. Is it verbal? Is it coming through your helmet like a quarterback would receive it? Is it hand signals on the sidelines? And then how is that communication from nickel package to dime package to base package? Are you in control of all that and, and how that generates through, through the 10 other teammates on your side? Yeah, I mean, I think as a middle linebacker, what I'm looking for first is uh, personnel from my coaches. Uh, what the other offense is trying to do to us, so they come out in 21, 22, two running backs, two tight ends, trying to run the ball, or they come out in 11, 10, stuff like that, just trying to pass the ball. And uh, based on what personnel we're in, we have a set amount of calls that we can call in this personnel. I'm thinking of all the calls that he can give me before he even gives it to me. So when he gives it to me, I'm already ready for it. Love, love! And uh, I relate a message to the defense, and uh, we're all based on reaction. So we line up based on what they're lined up in and react and play football. Now let's take a peek. 2018, this defense created a ton of turnovers. You had 21 interceptions. You had 28 forced turnovers, which was tied for fifth in the National Football League. Let's take a look at the Indianapolis game first where you get a forced fumble and T.J. McDonald gets a, a scoop. Wilkins, the running back, luck back. So yeah, we're just taking through the play. The ends get tipped a lot because they're heavy off the edge. Check down to the running back, a vice tackle by me and Bake, and I got my hand on the ball. this head down, fumbles the football, Dolphins recover it. McDonald got on the ball. That's just good execution because An Andrew Luck's back there. He's going to dump the football off. He's looking to his left, and that gets you going a little bit to your left because you have the tight end, yeah. but then you react to the football. Yeah. As soon as the running back gets up field, I know that I got baked to my left and uh, we can vice tackle it between us two and I can get my hands on it. One of us should get our hands on the ball. That's called the Ohio State 1-2? Right <laughs> yeah, we did it a couple of times uh, <laughs> back in Columbus. With the guy from USC getting the scoop. Yeah. That was pretty good. And I know this has to be exciting for you guys on defense because, you know, you generate turnovers, you create instant field position for the offense. So got, a little, uh, got a little hype. I think it was the second drive of the game. Got it going for the defense and... Uh, Got us rolling early. Here against the Jets, uh, this is kind of interesting. It's a run play. You're going to walk up late on the line of scrimmage. Is there anything verbally or, men or that you hear from the offensive linemen that you kind of know what's coming? Maybe they're, they're heavy on their heels. No. Anything that you see here? So it's a, it's a home game for us. So usually when you got a home game and you're playing the away team, the guard, the right guard has to give a hand signal to the center. So to snap the ball. To snap the ball. So he gives him a hand signal, tell him like the quarterback's ready to snap the ball. And the the left guard was heavy on his feet, so I knew he was gonna pull. Mm -hmm. So I stepped up to the gap early. And uh, we had went over this play a couple times. And uh, I knew I was gonna. So you time it up perfectly because of the two things. You notice that the guard, the right guard gives the signal to the center, and then you kind of get a, that tip that the left guard is a little heavy, he's gonna pull, and you fill the gap right there. So you replace that guard and get the tackle for loss. Yep. Flexing on him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. What are your expectations? I mean, how can you build on 2018 individually? You know, now that the season's over, you have to work on different things, get your you know, body back in shape, you know, rested, number one. But mentally, what can you take away from 2008 that's going to help you in 2019? Uh, you know, last year, man, it was kind of like my first, it was, well, it was my first year on the field. I did I had a lot of learning, uh, a long learning process, but uh, I feel like going into next year, I have a foundation already to build on. Well, keep bringing the energy, my man. Great job in 2018. Keep it going in 2019. Appreciate it.